Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to draw an inverter equivalent for a 2 input CMOS NAND and a 2 input CMOS NOR gate. Okay, let's get started. On the left hand side of the screen, we see that a 2 input NAND gate diagram has been drawn. It's very simple and straightforward. We have already seen this in the previous clip. The expression is Y, which is output is nothing but A dot B the whole bar where you have seen the shortcut trick of how to make the schematic which is present hide the bar whatever is under the bar A and B A and B is nothing but series connection is your pull down network or your NMOS transistor network and exactly opposite to your pull down here it's series so pull up would be parallel that's where A and B are connected in parallel now we also saw in the previous clip how to draw an inverter equivalent but remember in that clip we saw everything in terms of W by L. So let me quickly remind you that KP and KN is nothing but mu P COX W by L mu N COX W by L. Remember all the transistors present here the P MOSs have the same mobility and the thickness oxide is always the same so these two terms are same so is for the NMOS transistor so mu n COX for both the transistors are same here again in the question we have KN KN that means both has same KN that also speaks that W by L of PMOS A this is for PMOS A and W by L of PMOS B both are also same because we have KP in nutshell, I'm repeating KP is nothing but mu P COX W by L of PMOS. Here, for both the transistors, PMOS transistors, my mobility of holes is same. The thickness oxide is same, so COX is same. And when we say that the KP is given in the question, or assuming that both the PMOSs has the same W by L, we get KP. The same analogy can be used for NMOS as well. KN is nothing but mu n COX W by L for NMOS where mu n for mobility of electrons for both A and B transistors is same. The thickness oxide is same so COX is same and W by L of NMOS A and W by L of NMOS B is also same that's the reason we could say that both have KN which is same. Now we already saw that if W by L of the series transistors is same W by L for series transistors and W by L for parallel transistors if it's same we have seen a shortcut technique we just write W by L first and then for parallel it follows a series law that means it is multiplied by N whereas in series it gets divided by a factor N we have already seen this in the previous clip so how many n is nothing but number of transistors so how many transistors in parallel one two so that gives me w by l into two or nothing but twice w by l what about series how many transistors in series one two so this is nothing but w by l divided by two so I got my W by L in series and W by L in parallel which is nothing but W by 2L and twice W by L. Now what do we, can we say about KP equivalent and KN equivalent? KP equivalent P nothing but for PMOS transistors both are in parallel so let's see what's there in for parallel it is twice W by L and W by L we can easily replace by KP because we just saw that KP and W by L has the same effect because mu P is same, COX is same and W by L are same. So KP equivalent is nothing but twice KP. Similarly, KN equivalent is nothing but KN equivalent is for NMOS. NMOS transistors are connected in series. For series we got 1 by 2 W by L. W by L will be replaced by KN. So it's nothing but KN by 2. So for a 2 input NAND gate, we got KP equivalent is equal to twice KP and KN equivalent equal to KN by 2. Let's do the similar exercise 
for a two input NOR gate as well. 